We are High Point Scientific and in this video we're going to be discussing how you can take advantage of dark skies and epic conditions with our top recommended telescopes for camping. We do know that there is a limitation as to what kind of equipment or what kind of telescopes that you can bring camping, especially if you're packing light. We have taken this into consideration when making this list and we will help narrow down your options with these five guidelines. So the first characteristic that all of these telescope recommendations will possess is that they will be lightweight, rather portable, and they will also have a decent sized aperture so you can really take advantage of the dark skies. Under dark skies is when you really want to start viewing deep sky objects like galaxies, nebulas, star clusters, and all of the recommendations on this list will be able to achieve those kind of views. So in addition to our telescope recommendations being lightweight and portable, they will also be able to fit into a four-door sedan. This is pretty important if you are traveling by yourself or just with one other person or you're packing light. You want to be sure that you can fit your telescope into a smaller car. Quick assembly and disassembly is one of the important characteristics that we've considered, especially if you're viewing the planets or deep sky objects late at night or in the very early morning hours. You don't want to spend too much time setting up or disassembling. You want to spend all your time really taking advantage of the dark skies. So all of these recommendations are very quick to set up and disassemble. Our fourth consideration is that we know that not all campgrounds offer electricity. Some of the recommendations on our list of telescopes for camping are completely manual. Others are fully go to and require a power source, but something like the Celestron Lithium Power Tank light, the Power Tank Pro, or the Lithium Power Tank will be excellent options if you want to power your telescope for hours and even through a couple nights. Our fifth and final consideration is that we know that not all campgrounds may offer a level viewing surface. They may not offer concrete or a slab of cement that you can place your tripod on. So all of our recommendations do offer tripods with adjustable legs and feet so you do have a nice stable viewing platform. Before we get started on our list of recommended telescopes for camping, we think it's important that we kind of give you an idea of what you can expect to see with any of these telescopes. We like to bring up the name Charles Messier. He was a French astronomer in the 1700s who cataloged 110 deep sky objects that we now refer to as the Messier 110. These objects, galaxies, nebulas, star clusters, you know, open and globular clusters, were all discovered through his refractor. His refractor was only four inches in aperture, but his skies were extremely dark. That being said, the smallest telescope on our list is of four inches, so what you can expect to see is at least all 110 Messier objects that he was able to find. That's if your skies are dark enough. So with that being said, now we can go on and talk about our fourth recommendation. We'll be working our way up to number one, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for our number one recommendation, as well as our honorable mention. Celestron makes the number four spot with their Nexstar 8SE. This is a schmidt cassegrain telescope housing an 8-inch mirror. This is the largest telescope that we're recommending on our list. A telescope of this size is something that we consider a deep sky telescope. You're going to be able to see some incredible detail of the lunar surface and the planets, but where this telescope really shines is on deep sky objects. Fainter galaxies and nebula are now visible through such an aperture that any other telescope that on our list may not be able to reach simply due to its large mirror. Even though this is an 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain, it is still rather portable, so it makes our number 4 spot on our list. If you really want to take stargazing to the next level, this is the scope that we recommend. Taking the number three spot on our list of recommended telescopes for camping goes to Celestron once again with their Nexstar 4SE. Just like all other Nexstar telescopes, this is a fully go-to and fully computerized telescope, but instead of it being a Schmidt Cassegrain, this telescope is known as a Maxitov Cassegrain. These are characterized by their longer focal length. The Nexstar 4SE has a 4-inch mirror, which is fantastic for viewing the moon, the planets, and double stars and brighter planetary nebula. This is the smallest telescope that we recommend that we offer on our list of telescopes for camping, but it's going to really pack a punch for planetary and lunar viewing. So coming in the number two spot is one of our favorite recommendations of telescopes for camping and is in fact the only fully manual assembly on our list. It goes to the Explore Scientific 102mm airspace doublet as well as the Explore Scientific Twilight One manual all azimuth mount. 
So this combination of refractor and tripod is going to be very reliable as well as portable and is going to give you views of nearly every type of object in the night sky, especially those brighter deep sky objects. So if you plan to view these deep sky objects, we recommend low to medium power eyepieces. Explore Scientific offers some really awesome eyepieces that would pair very well with this 102 millimeter refractor. This entire manual assembly is perfect for the avid visual enthusiast and it's going to provide you with some awesome views under the dark skies while you're camping. Now on to our number one recommendation of telescopes for camping and that goes to the Nexstar Celestron 6SE. The Nexstar 6SE is our number one recommendation due to its size, its portability, and its full go-to functionality. This is a Schmidt Cassegrain designed telescope with a six inch aperture. So it is the second largest telescope on our recommendations for camping, but it is also two inches bigger than Messier's four inch refractor that he used back in the 1700s to discover those 110 Messier objects. A two inch difference in aperture, especially when you're jumping from four inches to six inches is very significant and will actually give you much brighter views of deep sky objects, especially if you're under those darker skies. Now, like I mentioned earlier in this video, if you if your campground doesn't have electricity or you don't have access to power, one of these Celestron lithium power tanks will do just fine for powering your telescope for multiple hours at a time. This telescope is arguably one of the most consistent and easiest to travel with on our list and it is an awesome option if you are looking for a telescope for camping. Now on to our honorable mention. The Nexstar 130 SLT from Celestron is our honorable mention. This is a fantastic scope to use visually. It's great for deep sky viewing. It's pretty good for planetary and lunar viewing. It'll give you nice, wide, bright, rich views, especially of brighter deep sky objects. If you're under darker skies, that's when you really want to utilize this scope because it's going to give you those brighter views of deep sky objects. So the Nexstar 130 SLT didn't make our top four list of recommended tripods for camping for a couple of reasons. The first one being the tripod. This is a fully go-to, fully computerized telescope, but the tripod does leave a bit to be desired in the stability category. If you do choose to purchase this telescope, we highly recommend you set up on concrete or even ground and make sure that you consider purchasing Celestron's vibration, vibration suppression pads. These are going to help eliminate, vibra eliminate vibrations, especially if you plan on using this telescope at medium to higher magnifications. The second reason is the collimation process. You do have to collimate this telescope every once in a while. Collimation is the process of aligning the primary mirror with the secondary mirror so that you get the sharpest views. If you're somewhat familiar with this process, this shouldn't be a problem at all. But if you're unfamiliar with the process of collimating, it can take a few minutes, maybe up to 10, 15 minutes to really get this down. While you're camping, this may not be something that you want to worry about. Despite these two downsides, this is still an awesome telescope. Like I said, it's going to give you wide field rich views of deep sky objects under those dark skies while you're camping and it'll provide you with some great views of the lunar surface as well as details on Saturn and Mars. So again, thank you so much for tuning into our YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed this video and if you've learned something about our top recommended telescopes for camping, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest astrophotography and astronomy tutorials and guides. If you have any questions about any of the products on this video or any products in general that we offer, please feel free to reach out to High Point Scientific's non-commissioned product advisors and we will always be happy to help. Again, thank you so much and clear skies.